Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. And as you guys know, seeing that 360 symbol load up means we're going to do something we haven't done for a little while on the channel now. Of course, we had the MW3 beta and stuff. We had different bits of news that was coming here and there, but we haven't played a classic card in a while. And today we're going to go back onto the classic, the best, the one and only Black Ops 2 here in 2023, of course. And uh, we're going to play around a bit. We're going to use, of course, the one and only. Uh, hopefully, of course, if it's working fine. I have not touched a classic card for a little while now. So we're going to see. But anyway, we're back on here. I'm still level 55. No hacked account here. So that's okay. That's good. But uh, we're going to use the AN94. Okay, now I have used it in previous videos. We know the damage this thing can do. I don't think I need to explain how good this gun was back in the day. But it seems to be even better here in 2023. I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm remembering it being like a third tier assault rifle or whatever or second best it seems to be number one for me i don't know about you guys but anyway let's get into it let's hop in let's see how alive we are which uh it's not looking good okay gonna be honest 503 people it has gotten even worse i think the lowest i ever saw it was 4,000 players but 500 that's very low it's 10 p.m on a, in the uk as well or is it 10 p.m yeah just gone past 10 p.m in the uk so we're not playing at the most ideal time but I was hoping for a little bit better. But hopefully we'll, we won't run into some hackers. That's what I'm hoping for here. But yes, the AN94 Black Ops 2 looks amazing with the cyborg camo. One of the coolest camos we've ever had in a video game. But, oh God. Right, let's get out of there. There's a whole cluster going on there. I mean, it's like a bot lobby at the moment, which is fine though. I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with that. I think he's over there. He's down there. I mean, this is a this is a bot lobby if I've never seen one. But you know, that's what it used to be like back in Black Ops 2. No skill based matchmaking. Just straight up, you the game. You'd hop on and you just play. That's it. There's a lot of low levels. Yeah, there's a lot of low level. What's going on here? It's like a day one Black Ops 2 release. This is this is crazy. Oh man, I got absolutely smelted there. But anyway, yeah, this is kind of fun. It's not, see, this is what happens though when the game. There's no hackers in that. This is this is glorious. This is nice to play. And of course, we'll talk about one thing, of course, which is we did talk about in another video, which is obviously Microsoft has bought Activision. It is official. There's no if, buts, or maybes. There's no is it happening? Is it not happening? These games will be coming to Game Pass. OK, I bet you guys my life that these games are coming to Game Pass. And uh, it'd be nice to see if Black Ops 2 would be on there pretty soon. Um, realistically i don't know if they'll do black ops 2 first i feel like it's going to be one by one i don't know it could be it might not be so i'm half expecting them to release well the 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 uh what you call it the leak or the rumor is that uh they'll be coming in 2024 so as far as like phil spencer said stuff like that as far as we're aware 2024 looks like when we'll be getting these games onto game pass which is a little bit of a wait i do understand that but it'll be worth it, okay? I mean, look at the player bases now. Black Ops 2 especially is very low. The hype that happened, you know, when these games were all fixed and that has kind of died off a little bit. Obviously, there have been other games to play as well. Like, there was the MW3 beta recently, as we were talking about. But this game with an amazing player base, hopefully, you know, the fix to the hacks and stuff. Obviously, we're playing in a game right now that's not hacked and that, which is great. It's glorious. This is exactly what I want to be seeing when I come back on here and play this game. Just... Obviously, I'd like there to be more people in the lobby, and that's what we're kind of suffering with here, as you can see. It's like, what, actually, one, two, three, four, five, okay, I thought it was seven people for a second. We've had that, that glitch before, but seven people, uh, sorry, six versus four people, it does make it a little bit, a little bit stale. As you can see, the score line showing that as well, 18 to 19 or 18 to 20. It's not very fast paced because, again, it's not a 6v6 match like we were hoping for. But it's okay, you know. I'm happy there's no hacks. That's that's the main thing here. I'm getting to show off this glorious A94. Hopefully, I'll pick up some uh, shrieks of it. Doesn't look likely. I mean, I'm getting absolutely melted here, but obviously as well. Back in the day, peer-to-peer -peer connections were how it worked or was how it worked. So you kind of just have to accept whatever connection you get on. Someone's going to have that host power over you you got to hope that that person isn't an amazing player as well, because obviously with the with the host, you know, having the power of host does give you that massive benefit. That's not going to change, though, as well. So when these games come to Game Pass, don't expect them to be putting servers on for these games. Uh, you will still have, you know, peer-to-peer -peer connections, which will, which will be fine, though. It will be fine. 
so long as, you know, the people playing these games have the good connection, you know, and obviously the game gives the people with the, uh, the best connection or the best, ability, you know, possible host, the ability to host, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this is nice. It's just a shame. Oh, wow. I did not notice he was there. It's just a shame. It's a little bit, it's a little bit on the dead side. I'm not going to lie. This is very, very dead. I think a lot of people probably ducked your little bouncing betty there. I love that. See, I love that. All right. I don't need to run flat jacket to stop that. I can just do that myself. Something that we miss a lot nowadays, which is you normally have to have a perk to counter something. Whereas I just want to have the ability to go to do it with my movement or something, you know, no. This game obviously doesn't have like crazy slide cancelling or anything like that. You had your drop shot and you had your jump shot. That was it. That was all you had back in the day, and it was good enough. It was good enough then, and it was good enough now. And that's why this guy, this game holds up so well. Now this guy, I feel like, is the host because he's the one who's like hitting me with some sort of super bullets or something. But uh, it's fine. We'll keep going. We'll keep on pushing along. Hopefully, pick up some streaks. Oh Jesus! There he is with the Remington. Remember that back gun back in the day? Oh, here we go. Where's he at? There we go. Nice little two. There you go. Told you. Two. We're on a bloodthirsty. Going on for that stealth chopper. Love the stealth chopper. We want that VSAT and dogs. I haven't gotten you guys some VSAT and dogs in any gameplay, I don't think. I don't think anyway. Just hoping I don't get taken out. Oh, how did he know? Is he cheating? Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. He did see me. Okay. All right. I looked a little bit suspicious from my end. But that's the problem as well. You can never know who is and isn't, right? Just because those hacks do exist. They still exist through the fear mode stuff, which is a shame. I'm hoping, of course, Microsoft, when these games come to Game Pass and Activision as well, slash Treyarch as well, because it's their game, uh, has done something by that point to actually make sure there is no possible way of hacking, or at least a very unlikely chance of people hacking. Of course, there's going to be people who who, uh, you know, have those JTAG Xboxes and are able to pull the hacks and do the hacks themselves. The biggest issue with this game is more just the fact that these hacks are accessible through theater mode. That's that's the big issue, really. So hopefully, again, something's done about that. It'd be great for the game, especially when they do release to the Game Pass, which I'm hoping is sooner rather than later. Black Ops 2 being a lot later in the uh, series of Call of Duty compared to Obviously, you know, like, COD 1, COD 2, COD 3. There's quite a few CODs that have to come before Black Ops 2 if they were to release these one by one on the Game Pass. So I'm hoping more than anything that they... Well, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll give you guys the ultimate aim. You, you let me know down below what you think, right? There's two things to this, which, like, it works both ways. There's positives and negatives to both. So the positives to releasing them all at once is we have all the great Call of Duty games that we want to play when we want to play them, right? This guy has super bullets. He's just killing me so quick. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know if he's using balls as well. Like you just, you don't know. Some people weirdly do that, don't they? Oh, he's got a load stuff. He's got a load stuff. What's he going right now? 27 and 1. What are we saying? Is this guy possibly cheating? I don't know. He could be good. He could be cheating. I don't know. But until they remove those hacks from the fear mode, I'm not going to know, am I? I mean, that low star's crazy, but we need to get in here because we know he's in here. There he is. Knew he was in here. But yeah, they absolutely slaughtered us. I mean, my team got absolutely cooked. But yeah, that's the power of no skill based matchmaking, of course. You get random matches like this. But um, yeah, these games come into Game Pass. Black Ops 2 specifically is one that we all want to see. Will be great when it happens. We'll revive the player base, of course, depending on the hacking situation, right? Of course, they got a they got to deal with the theater mode and all that stuff but hopefully they do but anyway back to the point i was talking about we're going to play one more game of course today hopefully on hijacked which looks like we're going to get that hoping this abz guy isn't actually cheating but we'll we'll soon see i'm sure it become clear at some point in fact we'll just do a new lobby just to eliminate any possibility if we can get a new lobby that is let's see and we can that's kind of crazy with only 500 people i'm quite quite i find that quite insane but anyway yeah so we've got a new lobby hopefully it goes pretty well but anyway two things to it so they can release the cards one one at a time, right? We could have Black Ops 2. It will come after, obviously, all the other cards. They'd probably do them in order. They'd release card one, then card two, then card three. Which isn't a bad thing, right? Because what they'll do is, for the temporary time that that card is the newly card release, whether it be they do it every month or they do it every week, it's most likely they do it once every month, which would be a little bit on the slow side. 
because then we'd probably be waiting until about, let's say they started doing this in February, March time. We'd be waiting until probably about November, December to even get a Black Ops 2, which is a long time to wait. It's It would be good, but it'd be a long, long time to wait. And by that time, would people's interest die out? I don't know. Probably. I feel like people would get very bored and wouldn't be interested by that point. So, yeah. Or they could release the, all the cards at once. And the only thing that'd be an issue with them releasing all the Call of Duty's at once is people are just going to play the most popular ones, aren't they? You know, the Black Ops 2s, the Black Ops 1s, your Card 4, MW2, MW3, all the popular ones are going to be played, which is great for those games, right? There's nothing wrong with those. Populations need to be improved a little bit. Like I said, Black Ops 2 with 500 people online definitely needs an improvement here. However, it's not going to... Oh, this is taking too long. Let's, uh, let's try again. I mean, I'm finding lobbies quite decently, even though with the 500 people, so that's quite insane. But uh, let's see what we're getting into. Hijack, right. I think we're in the game with the thingy dude, but... Oh, no. This game's already started. Okay. Well, we'll call it here. We'll, we'll leave it at this game. But, uh... Oh, he's frozen. He's got a bad connection or something. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, yeah, he's got a very... Oh, and he's got a penis emblem. Of course he does. Love a good old penis emblem, don't we? But anyway... <laughs> let's all those penis emblems. More of uh, using the AN94 and hopefully get some streaks, right? I want to get some streaks for you guys before the end of today. Whoa! Jesus, did anybody see that? Uh, hopefully that showed up in my recording. That guy just... I don't know, he's got the craziest, skippiest connection going. And it almost worked out for him. That was kind of insane. Where is this guy? Oh, is he went down low. Oh, he's taking the tunnel system. Loves a good tunnel system. But yeah, releasing all the games at once will be beneficial to those of, that are popular. But games like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, World War 2, games that I know some of you will be interested in, probably won't be populated just because there'll be better games or what people consider as better games available to them to play. So some games might not actually benefit from being on the Game Pass. Like Call of Duty Ghosts, I could see massively struggling if that were the case. Oh, Jesus, this guy. That guy's connection. He's playing... He's playing at a whole 10 FPS or something. I don't know. It's crazy. But, uh... It'll be fun. That's the one thing, right? I'm excited now that we're, we're past that point, right? There's no if, buts, or maybes. We will, at some point, have these games on Game Pass. And it's going to be great, right? That's why I've always said to you guys that you should get on that Game Pass, right? And the more interesting thing as well is, like, DLC. Will we see DLC come to, like be available? Will we just be allowed, because these games are so old to play the DLC on these games for free. Like, will they be a part of, say, you have Black Ops 2 from the Game Pass? Well, guess what? You get the DLC as well. That would be amazing. Zombies, the maps that were in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 even. Black Ops 1 had such awesome DLC. Uh, MW3, MW2. I mean, MW2 only had a little bit of DLC, but there were some cool maps that a lot of people probably never got to experience because they didn't, they didn't pay for the map packs back in the day. I know I didn't. It would also make it possible for those who do own the map packs to be able to play those map packs that they bought, you know, with absolutely no issue of, like, finding a lobby. So, yeah, who knows? That could, that could be something that happens. That'd be awesome if Microsoft does that. And I feel like that's something they should do. Like, these games are past it, right? No one's going to buy those DLCs. They should allow people to play those DLCs for free if you have the Game Pass. So hopefully that's something that happens. And then let me know down below, would you be excited for something like that? Would you be interested in... F well, I imagine all of you would be. Free DLC. It should be something that comes and should happen with the Game Pass. But yeah, there it is, guys. Black Ops 2 2023 with the A94. I showed a little bit of a good showcase, okay? I, I tried to get some streaks. It didn't happen for me, but we did okay. And of course, we've now seen this game is a little bit... It's a little bit on the dead side. But hopefully, with the news that now we, you know, official Microsoft has Activision... We will see these games on Game Pass at some point, hopefully soon. It's looking like 2024, which isn't too far off, to be honest. It's, a, it's two or three months now. A little bit of time to wait, but it'll all be worth it to get these better player bases, better experiences, and just overall better everything because of the Game Pass. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.